What is up, Troubler Nation? I'm your host, Keller Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. You would not believe it. Okay, so the Ace family, Trisha Paytas was teared off on the Ace family, and then she made a comment about James. James Charles claps back at Trisha, and then Trisha goes on this rant, calling him everything. She called him ugly. Also, we have Jake Paul versus KSI. Oh, we got some news on that. We also got David Dobrik being stalked. We got tons of gaming news. But first, ladies and gentlemen, I need to remind you that we are giving away the brand new PlayStation, the brand new Xbox. All you gotta do is subscribe hit the bell, hit all notifications, and you're entered in to win. As soon as those new consoles come in, we're gonna be giving them out. Our first story is starting with PewDiePie. And by the way, it's PewDiePie's birthday. A couple days ago, YouTube shadow banned PewDiePie. That's right. None of his newer videos came up. In fact, they were gone. He uploaded a brand new video and within one hour only got 50K views. YouTube came out saying that they don't shadow ban channels. It's possible the video was flagged by our system. It is possible that it was flagged by our... No, 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 no. PewDiePie's history on YouTube for the last four years wasn't there, you couldn't find it. Eventually, YouTube Gaming got into the mix and they said that we are hearing reports that PewDiePie's channel and some videos are not surfacing within search. We are currently working to fix the issue. We are sorry for any inconvenience this has caused. PewDiePie himself left a comment saying that it is a confirmed bug and it's not a band and it'll be fixed. And eventually, PewDiePie's channel was fixed, but here's the thing. There's a lot of people now that are like, oh, it was a bug, it was a glitch, okay? What kind of bug or glitch would make a singular channel, just one channel, disappear. I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure somebody accidentally hit the shadow ban button on PewDiePie. Also in the news, good guy ninja. Okay, listen to this. This small streamer, he got a bunch of chargebacks from donations. $5,400 worth of chargebacks from someone that donated. Ninja responded fixed, showing that Ninja donated the five thousand eight hundred dollars to cover the chargebacks good guy ninja also in the news a youtuber is being charged for ignoring covid rules first we have bryce hall he got arrested for having parties and all that like uh, ignoring the whole covid thing over in la but now bradley martin tweeted out people of the state of california versus zoo culture welcome to 2020 where where gyms being opened is criminal in california where mental and physical health is deemed non-essential thoughts Woo! okay that's right ladies and gentlemen bradley martin fitness guy he owns his own gym remember nelk they like had a party to open the gym back up at bradley martin's gym state of california is, is not having it he is looking at okay so me and bradley were talking in dms he is looking at criminal charges a misdemeanor a thousand dollar fine and six months in jail or both yikes also in the news oh people got mad at this one the streamy awards said creator of the year addison ray charlie d'amelio david dobrik dixie d'amelio emma chamberlain james charles Larray. and right away when this was announced people are like wait david dobrik he hasn't even uploaded this year many fans saying similar things like bro david dobrik uploaded three vlogs this year and he is on creator of the year now listen there's no denying that david dobrik is one of the greatest youtube creators ever in the history of youtube but he he, he didn't upload this year i mean i i agree with the fans they got a point but speaking about david dobrik he is dealing with stalkers okay how many times has david dobrik told you and told fans not to come to his house. Now, get this, I swear this is true. We're gonna show you clips right now. A fan sent a drone to his house. Roll it. Bro, this is so scary. Someone flew in Chipotle on a drone into my backyard. I'm not kidding. What if it bomb? What do I do? Was that on it too? Bro, it's just fucking staring at us. Open that up. To get right to the point, you probably don't know who we are. Soon the name project will be, we took the Chipotle. Ew, 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 bro, ew. what? Creepy, bro. What the f- Wow! Also in the news, Summer Rae 
versus Chantel Jeffries. Summer A tweeted out, sorry girls, but liking Rick and Morty isn't a personality trait. Chantel responds, sorry girls, but bashing other girls for what they like isn't a personality trait. Woo! Okay, now here's the thing, all right? The reason why Chantel snapped back Summer Rae is because Chantel Jeffries is like a super Rick and Morty fan. In fact, you know our podcast, Mom's Basement, at one point, Chantel Jeffries was like a host when we were putting the show together. Like during the pilot, I remember her telling me she had this one item, I can't say what it is, but it was an item that had a Rick and Morty sticker on it and she lost it and she was devastated. Also in the news, Jake Paul versus KSI. Both of them have brand new songs out. And guys, I I'm gonna keep it 100, right? Anytime I hear music, I'll tell you if I think it's good or if I think it's bad, no matter if I like the person or not. And Jake Paul's new song, it's trash. Okay, this one's horrible. The one before was good, but this one ain't good. However, KSI has a new song out and it is awesome. That's right, KSI has a new song out called Really Love It. It's a banger. And KSI went to go promote this on his Instagram Live when he realized he had no pants on. Roll it. Oh, oh, s you can see my, oh. D but listen, that's not the end of KSI versus Jake Paul because Jake Paul has a boxing match coming up and there's been a promo for it. And Jake Paul is taking digs at JJ. That's right, under Jake Paul's profile, it says social icon, musical artist, undefeat boxer, and KSI's father. Oh, I think KSI was adopted, just say. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now it is time for our final story. This is, this is insane, okay? We told you there was a clip in the Ace family that they didn't want you to see. Like we talked about this on the last two drama alerts. And anyhow, Trisha Paytas came out saying that she thought a was going on in the household. Well, recently the Ace family uploaded a new video and they basically said they were fighting and that's why that clip was in there. It's like arguing and they were just in a bad mood and that's why the clip came off the way it did. So get this, Trisha Paytas isn't buying it. All right, she uploads this TikTok saying like she still thinks something bad is happening in the Ace family home. And during this TikTok rant, she insults James Charles. Roll it. And for the record, I have like never been a fan or I never followed Ace Family, but I also have never had like a vendetta against them, no bad experience. There's nothing that I dislike or that like whatever. But like even being just like on the very, very outer skirts of who they are and what they are on YouTube, like I'm seeing like so many scary red flags, like more so than like anyone else I've seen. Like, yeah, James Charles is like narcissistic and sociopathic, but like they, they have kids. Whoa, now here's the thing. James Charles claps back. He sees the TikTok and he says, keep my name out of your mouth. You do not know me. Woo, okay. This sent Trisha on a five or six or maybe seven or eight part TikTok series of her just, just unloading on James Charles. At one point, she she says that he's he's not uh, attractive. He's saying he's gonna get can't like I'm just gonna play a lot of it. All right, so sit back, grab some popcorn, and listen to this. Roll it. So this comment was left by James last night on my TikTok. Hi James, what's up? Um, you're right. I don't know you, but this is a big 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 guess of why I think people really dislike you because you're arrogant as to think you can tell people to keep my name out of your mouth when you're a public figure and you literally make all your money solely on the fact that you are in drama all the time right now you're making Tati Westbrook look like Albert Einstein boo-boo you're an idiot this is dumb you're old enough you're an adult hear it but just like our recent good old glam and core and uh, so many other people your time is coming your cancellation is going to be insane you're going to be the Tyler Oakley of 2020, where people in four years will be like, who? And you know what? He was a cocky little bit too. And it's fine, because you're gonna go down real quick like that, okay? You're lucky you had some revival with these little TikTok stars, but pretty soon you're gonna be too old and too creepy to be leeching onto teenagers. And because guess what? You and me, James, we're the same. You ain't that cute either to have this attitude. Maybe Noah Beck can get away with this. Maybe Addison Rae can get, get away with this, but you can't. You can't. You are drama. That's your career. Like Addison and Noah Beck would never. Because they're cute. You and me, we ain't cute. So at least take some humble pie. At least pretend to learn to grow. At least take some sort of accountability, even a tenth. James, congratulations. You are the only person I know that I actually 
eight that I actually think should get canceled. Narcissistic self-centered. You make your money, dude, because people talk about you and make fun of you or whatever. Whatever. And who raised you? Wow. Okay. She unloaded on James. Now, I text James and I was like, dude, do you want to make a statement or something? He didn't respond to me. Uh, but wow. I mean, wow, 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 wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the news today. Guys, if you're new here, sub with those notifications on. We're giving those new consoles away as soon as they come in, as soon as I get them. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, take the time, slap a like on it, because you know as soon as I get the scoop, I'm going to keep you in the loop.